All right, welcome. This is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 6, Simple Harmonic Motion. The section is 6.F, determining if the motion is a SHM, which stands for Simple Harmonic Motion. Here's the scenario. Please pause the video if you would like uh, to read it to yourself. But the important part about this scenario is to determine the fact that it is a Simple Harmonic Motion. These three criteria on the bottom here must be satisfied. This is an exper experimental design. The first part, A, is just for you to select the material that you're using. Uh, part B is to outline the procedure in which you're going to be using these materials. What I have here are the three criteria for it to be a simple harmonic motion that was state here. I have some notes for you on how to use the experiment to get these three things. The first is using a photo gate to get the sign of the graph, to the shape of the graph to be a sign, or to determine whether the shape of the graph is a sign or not. The photo grate is used for speed and acceleration measurement of an object that passes through the gate. So there's a beam that goes through this gate. When an object interacts with the beam or passes through it, the motion is going to record that and the time. Most of the time, this is used to measure a free-falling acceleration, studying the swim of a pendulum, or measuring the speed of a rolling object, timing the period of a rotating object, or measuring the speed an object undergoes during a collision. So this is really useful to measure position and time built together. Okay, Think about this as a motion sensor with a timer built into it. All right? So how can you use this to get this? I wrote some of it here. Okay, you could read this to yourself if you would like to, but uh, you're going to set it up so that the mass here is going to oscillate up and down, and it's going to be record that. All right, pause the video if you would like a better explanation using the notes. Seconds. This is how you get the second part. Okay, using Hooke's law with Newton's second law. All right, mass at rest. Put a mass the Spring at rest, put a mass, it's going to stretch the spring, looking at its displacement. The two forces here should balance the force of the spring and the force of gravity. You can use Newton's second law there to solve for the um, spring constant, but also to get its displacement as well. This is how you can get the period. Remember, the period is a measurement of time. That's why it says here you're going to be using a stopwatch to measure the interval for its complete oscillation. The definition of a period is the amount of time it actually takes to complete a cycle. So what you can do is here, you can record it for um, it going up and down, up and down 10 times. Um, then you're going to get that time and divide it by the amount of cycles. So let's say it took a minute to go through 10 cycles. So you're going to do 60 seconds divided by 10. So that's how you know how many seconds for it to go to one cycle, because that is what one period is, the amount of time it takes to go through one complete cycle. Okay. All right. So what we have here are the three criteria and what are the procedures to getting it. All right, so what I have here is that I have the three ways to get it. The first way is to get the graph. So you're going to put the photo gate so that the oscillating mass moves between it. As the mass moves between it, the photo gate will record the time and its positioning. Then you're going to graph it. The net force. Here you're going to use the meter stick and you're going to uh, measure it vertically. You're going to measure it first when it's at rest without the mass, then when it's at mass, um, and then you're going to measure that distance that the mass stretches it. And here I label D, but in this problem, the distance should be recorded as L, the length. And you're going to repeat this for different mass to repeat, to reduce the error. Last one to get the period. You're going to use the meter stick to locate the attitude of the oscillation. That means like it's how far it will stretch without breaking or how compressed it is without 
breaking okay and then you're going to set the mass um, oscillating with a small amplitude okay make sure it's a small amplitude all right and use a stopwatch to measure several complete oscillations for example 10 period right 10 cycles all right so it goes um, up then down that would be one complete cycle then you record 10 of those right let's say it took a minute right that's 60 seconds so you would do 60 seconds divided by 10 so you're going to get what six seconds for one cycle that would be the period right a period is the amount of time it takes to complete one cycle now what are you going to do with the data once you collect it to meet these three criteria? So I have it here. So for the graph part, you are going to graph the position versus time that the photo gate produces and can determine if it mirrors a sign graph. The student can use a sign graph and plot it on top of the, the photo gate graph and see how close the data matches. And if it looks like a sign graph, it should meet the first criteria. And a sign graph should look something like this goes up starts from zero goes down like here like here all right so the net force here you're going to graph the mass versus l so it should look something like this mass and l and you're going to look for a linear relationship if it's a linear relationship that means the net force is directly proportioned to its displacement so the slope is then linear good you're looking for linear relationship and for the period if you graph the period versus the aptitude so here period versus amplitude and you look at the slope you're looking for a flat amount oh it should be flat the flat here or the no slope that occurs shows that there's no relationship between them all right so let's go back here to part a did we use a meter stick yes we did did we use a stopwatch? Yes, we did. Yes, did we use the fold gate? Yes, did we use the attach other attached masses? Yes, we did. We did not use the motion sensor. We did not use a spring scale. We did not use a balance, and we did not use a camera with frame by frame um, pay, playback. Just let you know, you could use a motion sensor and a camera um, and a stopwatch, and that's these three are equivalent to what the photo gate produces. Okay. Um, but part B says the procedure and part C is the data analysis of that procedure that you got. All right. But there you go. Those are all your solutions for 6.F.